Good morning, over here from Legoland Billund and of course one of my favourite theme parks over here in Europe. Of course this theme park is located in Billund, Denmark and you know what, for starters it's so great to be back in the country of course for a day one vlog over here at the park. And you know in terms of the park itself, of course our first visit came back in April this year. I believe it was only about a couple of weeks after opening and you know what, it was so great to experience this park for my first ever time. Of course the home park is actually Legoland Windsor. So yeah, I mean coming here for our first time was a little bit strange. So of course being seeing, uh, th this is our first Legoland park we actually saw, of course outside of Legoland Windsar. And yeah, it was a little bit weird to see it. I mean, you know what, I definitely love this park so much. Of course, well, they've got so many great attractions here with, the, with their four coasters, um, with their main one, of course, being Polar Explorer. And, you know, that's a fantastic coaster. Along with that, they've also got Dragon. And also as well, they've actually got a pretty good selection of dark rides, and along with flat rides as well. You know, it's a great park, and I'm so looking forward to getting back inside of it. Oh, yeah, without any further ado, let's get back inside of Legoland Billund. Okay, so we've just finished up with our ride on Polar Explorer and you know what, it was so great to get back on that Ziera coaster. Honestly, that's one of my favourite roller coasters here on the planet and to be honest, even though it is only a family coaster, that airtime is incredible. Of course, I only got the second to back row, have you know what, yeah, some people in my group actually did get the back row and of course, well, back in April, yeah, I did get the fortunate opportunity. Of course, get both the back and the front. And you know what? Whatever you've gone on that coaster, the airtime is some of the best here in the country. And to both, it's just amazing. Just like, look at it go now. Oh, you know what? It's such a great coaster. And yeah, if you haven't already, make sure to get down here to experience it. However, yeah, next up, I think we're going to go on uh, Emmett's Flying Adventure. I think it's called Masters of Flight. So yeah, let's head over there. So we've just come off Emmett's Flying Adventure Master Flight. And you know what, even though it's not my favourite flying theatre out there, you know what, it's still a pretty good ride. And in my opinion, yeah, Flight of the Skyline, of course, at Legoland Windsor back in the UK, yeah, it's definitely the superior flying theatre. And you know, I did actually enjoy that much more than I did, of course, back in April. And you know what, I felt like in April, yeah, it was a bit too much. Because, of course, it's a very colourful theme, like, of course, the, like, the Lego movie series. And you know what, I felt like it was way too colourful. However, and yeah, I felt like there were a bit too much going on also as well. Yeah, it does actually have, like, a narration on it. So, in my opinion, that doesn't really work on a fine theatre. And you know, this time, I actually felt it was pretty good. Of course, it's still not my favourite ride at the park. And it's, it's definitely something to experience when coming down here. However, yeah, I think next up, we're going to be heading on to a classic. And this is, of course, the Dragon. And yeah, you know what? I love this coaster so much. Of course, the one back in Windsor is actually the coaster I've rode the most of any roller coaster in the world. However, yeah, without any further ado, let's get straight on to the Dragon. You know what, the Dragon is actually one of my favourite rides over here at Legoland Billund. You know, it's actually such a good coaster. Of course, I mean, the outdoor section is not amazing. And yeah, it's actually a map power coaster, which is yeah, pretty unique for a Dragon coaster. Because usually now, I believe that is the Aero Force 5 model. However, of course, as well, like the one back in Windsor at home. Yeah, I think it's WGH Transportation. So yeah, I mean, we also have a pretty unique one. I believe there's two Vacone ones as well. However, yeah, this is, this is the only map power coaster one. And you know what? It's actually a really good roller coaster. Of course, the outdoor section, as I just said, isn't the best section. And to be honest as well, the helixes, I mean, they, they are quite intense. And also, it's got some nice steaming. Yeah, overall, it's not amazing. And yeah, there's not really much airtime on it. Uh, but what really makes it is the indoor section. Right, so that's such a good part of the ride. And yeah, I believe it's pretty much like that on every dragon. Of course, I've only done two. Of course, the one at Windsor and the one over here at Legoland Billund. I mean, you know what? Yeah, I, w I don't really know what I actually prefer because they're both very similar. However, I would say I prefer the indoor section to the Billund one. And of course, the outdoor section to the Windsor one. I mean, you know what? They're both very, very close. 
days. And yeah, I definitely come down to, of course, to ride them yourself. Um, I think next up, we're going to be heading into Atlantis. And I believe this is sort of like a sea life walkthrough. And yeah, I don't believe it's like deep sea adventure, like a winds or anything like that. Uh, I do believe it's just a sea life walkthrough. But uh, yeah, let's go and head into Atlantis. So we've just made our way outside of Atlantis and you know what, it was actually pretty cool to head inside of there. Of course, sea lives are not my favourite in general. I mean, that was actually my first ever sea life outside of the UK. And you know what, it was definitely pretty cool to experience. Uh, but yeah, something quite cool about that also. Uh, yeah, of course, with this being a Legoland theme park, yeah, there were actually some Lego models in there, which in my opinion was quite a nice addition. However, you know what, it's still not a great sea life. And yeah, it is sort of one of the better ones I've experienced. However, uh, personally, I wouldn't rush to it. Unless you, of course, have two days down here at the park and you really just want to check out the whole entire park. Yeah, I wouldn't rush to it. However, uh, I think next up we're going to be heading to one of my favorite attractions over here at the park or of course the vikings river splash and yeah you know what this is definitely our, uh, of course this is definitely an upgrade yeah from the one we have back home in the uk uh, yeah i mean that one's definitely not one of the best rappers i've been on uh, yeah i think we're going to make our way into the legend and jaga world uh, yeah then just, and then just really head around to the viking river splash So we've just got off the Viking River Splash and you know what, unlike last time, yeah, in my opinion, that did get a little bit worse. However, you know what, it was still a good ride and yeah, in my opinion, it's actually one of the best rappers I've experienced. However, yeah, I don't know why, but this time it just felt like we didn't get actually as wet. However, you know what, it's still a fun ride and also as well, that drop, I believe it's actually one of the biggest drops on a, of course, a rapids ride in the world. I think it's built by Intamin, I believe. Uh, of course, uh, it's very, very similar to what I see on Orlando. Uh, you know what, overall, it's actually a fun ride. Uh, but yeah, next up, we're going to be heading over to another water ride, of course, the Pirate Boats. And yeah, these are basically the complete opposite to Viking River Splash. In terms of that, yeah, it's actually one of like the original attractions at the park. I believe it may have been an open day attraction, of course, in 1968 when this park first opened. And you know what, it's going to be good to take a ride. Last time, it was my favourite. Uh, you know what, let's go and take a ride on the Pirate Boats. So we've just taken our ride over on pirate boats and you know what it definitely is a classic at the park have you know what it might be and that's actually one of the better rides here now i mean last time i didn't really enjoy it that much i mean this time yeah it was definitely pretty good and yeah overall i would experience it due to i believe it being an open day attraction of course when the park officially opened in 19 uh 1968 i think it was and yeah, you know, I think it was an open day charge, so I'm not too sure on that. But you know what, it was, it was still a fun ride. I was straight after, we went over to the Lego Canoe. And you know what, I believe this got redone in 2018 for their 50th anniversary of the park. And you know what, that is such a fantastic log flume. In my opinion, it's one of the best log flumes I've experienced. Of course, it does fall behind Splash Mountain, of course, both Disneyland and also the Walt Disney World Resort. Uh, but you know, it's still a fun log flume. And yeah, it's definitely the best one out of the two I've experienced at both Legoland parts. Because of course, at home, we do have a uh, Pirate Falls Treasure Quest. As much as that's great, the Lego Canoe does really, I mean, well for starters, it's actually very, very different from usual log flumes. And also as well, in my opinion, it's just a better theme overall. Uh, but now we're going to take a look around the park and really just take on some re-rides because, you know, we're getting to around the last half an hour of the day. Uh, yeah, let's go and take another look around the park. We've now finished our day over here at Legoland Billund. And you know what, day one was actually pretty good. This park is actually my well, one of my favorite theme parks over here in Europe. And you know what, it still holds that title. In my opinion, the only two theme parks in Europe that do beat it uh, is of course Disneyland Park and the Walt Disney Studios Park, of course, down in France. And yeah, you know what, I mean, they're the only two parks that beat it. Of course, I've been to places like Fantasyland, Europa Park, or any places like that yet. And you know what, it's definitely a pretty cool park to get to. In terms of my favorite attractions at the park, of course, the ride we just did, Polar Explorer, I mean, I'd probably say it's the standout attraction at the park. You know, it's got some great airtime, and yeah, especially as well, literally anywhere on that coaster, you, like, the airtime is just phenomenal. And also as well, it's got some nice theming, but along with that, like, we did actually get to experience some dark rides today. Of course, like, three of the four water rides, there may be five water rides, but yeah, we did actually get to experience three, three of the water rides, sorry. And yeah, you know, they're all pretty good as well. In my opinion, i definitely say the Lego Canoe is probably the best. However, even though Viking River Splash was a little bit of a disappointment today, you know what, it was still a great day. And yeah, in terms of the park itself, honestly, even though Windsor has like all that, the landscape and all that, I mean, 
mean, I just really like how like Billund is, of course, the original Legoland park. And yeah, if you haven't been already, it's such an easy park to get to. Or, of course, you may just be able to see over there, yeah, just next to that uh, pirate flag. Yeah, I mean, like, that's actually the airport. So, yeah, that grey building just behind that white building uh, yeah, is actually the airport. So, you know, it's actually, I believe it's a half an hour walk from the airport because I believe that's actually the other side of the airport. But you know what? It's a very easy part to get to and you could probably even do it in a day. I mean, like, we decided to spend a weekend down here. Of course, day two will be coming uh, in, the, in the next couple of days. However, you know what? Yeah, it's definitely a great part to get to and yeah, I definitely recommend it. However, yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.